Yes, it's Friday! Oh, Woo! Time to go answer some questions! This isn't a question, but you'd be a better president than Donald Trump. Yes, I completely agree with you. And here are two reasons why. One, I have better hair, and that should matter. And two, I actually served my country in a bitter war, and I was a great American hero. Todos excepto el bofo. Viene Landon, cobra. Arriba el remate de cabeza, golazo. Gol, 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 gol. Golazo. Hola, Amy. ¿Crees que el Real Madrid tiene alguna posibilidad? They are not like Champions League. I believe Real Madrid will definitely make the semifinals since they drew Wolfsburg for the quarterfinals today, those lucky bastards. Though, maybe Wolfsburg could beat them in a one-off if that one-off was in Germany and it was snowing out and Madrid had most of their starters out injured. But over two legs, Madrid is just too good. Also, here are the other quarterfinal matchups. It's the oil money derby with Manchester City facing PSG, the La Liga derby with Atletico Madrid taking on Barcelona, and the starts with B derby, Benfica versus Bayern Munich. Since PSG has already won the league, they can focus all of their attention on the Champions League, so they're definitely gonna get past City. Barcelona will eke by, barely by Atletico Madrid, and Bayern will roll over Benfica, because Bayern had that scare against Juventus, and they're not gonna let that happen again. Then Barcelona will play Real Madrid in the semifinals, PSG will play Bayern, then Barcelona will play Bayern in the final, and Barcelona will win, making them the first team ever to win back-to-back -back Champions League trophies. Will the United States make it out of the group in Copa America this summer? Yes! Si se puede! Of course, por supuesto! I know it's the group of death with the U.S. and Colombia and Costa Rica and Paraguay, but we're playing on our home soil in a big tournament. The last time we did that was in last summer's Gold Cup and we underperformed in the biggest way. So this is a time for redemption against some of the top teams in our region and against some of the top teams from South America. Hey Jimmy, my question is, um, are you looking to get into the coaching scene at all in the MLS or abroad or anything like that? Uh, thanks. At the moment, I'm too busy being the founder slash president of the Warm Baller Society, and I'm also making videos for you guys on YouTube. The problem is, youth coaching happens on weeknights and weekends, which means I would never get to spend any meaningful time with my two beautiful daughters and my beautiful wife, and that's not something I'm ready to sacrifice at this moment. Oh, it's the Jay Master talking, John Lozano. Who do you think will win the Champions League this week? I just answered that question, Jay Master, but. I like your energy and I hope you like mine. So ask me another question next week. What do you do when like people at your school like call you names because you play soccer and make fun of you? Dude, let's real talk for a second. After looking back on my time in high school and in college, the guys that played the other sports hated soccer players because we were funnier, we were smarter, we we're better looking, and we got all the girls. So in summation, they're just jealous. So be a true warm baller and wear it as a badge of honor. And be proud that you love the best game that has ever been invented, and so do about three billion other people. We're here for you. Hey, yo, Conradinho, you tell me. Neymar, does he play for the Copa, or Olympics, or both? This is a very good question. Unfortunately for Neymar, I'm not sure he's gonna have much of a choice in the matter. He is sponsored by Nike, and Nike is sponsoring the Copa America, and they're gonna want their most valuable asset in America doing his thing. As for the Olympics, they are in Brazil, and he's Brazilian, so the Brazilian people were gonna want their most valuable asset, winning them a gold medal, since they lost out on the World Cup in 2014. At this point, I'm just hoping he doesn't get hurt. Hey Jimmy, just wanted to ask what players types you the most, Pogba, Neymar, Ibala, Verratti, I don't know, or any player you can think of. Greetings from Costa Rica, man. And greetings to you from New York City. The obvious choices for who excites me are the guys you mentioned, those guys are terrific players, and the other usual suspects, Messi, Ronaldo, Pirlo, but I'm really loving Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang this season from Borussia Dortmund. The guy is on fire. Hi Jenny, um, it's Anthony from FIFA Predicts. Can I do a show on your channel? First off, it's Jimmy, not Jenny. Second, why do you pronounce it Anthony when there's an H in your name? It should be Anthony. Third, show me what you got. Shut up, Anthony!
Um, let me think about it. All right, that is it. I am done. Actually, scratch that. I am not done because I wanted to ask you guys one more thing. I am creeping up on 10,000 subscribers just after a few weeks, which is just mind blowing. I can't even process that information, how cool that is. Well, what am I supposed to do once I get there? Do I celebrate? How do you celebrate? I wish I could invite everybody over and we could just have pizza or something. I think that would be sweet. Send me your ideas. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys for all of your support. You guys are amazing. You rule. Warm ballers for life.